Welcome back to ETBU Extra, live here today on the ETBU Sportsnet. Time now to talk with the quarterback of the Tigers, Josh Warbington. Josh, in his senior year for ETBU from Hallsville, Texas, which is just a very short drive down Highway 80 toward Longview from the campus of ETBU. And, and Josh, your senior season, this has been a, a great year, not only for you, but for the rest of your Tigers. Yeah, it has been. Um, start of the season didn't really go as planned for me, um, but I never looked back after that. And as far as this team, we just came together. And as one, we just kept winning. And hopefully this weekend we'll come out and just get another win, especially for what we're playing for, for the lead of the conference, and be 4-0 at the end of the week. And it's really what we practice all week, um, all year, fall camp and spring. And everything that we've gone through this whole uh, year so far, that's really what we've been playing for. And so I'm just very excited for it. Before we talk about your opponent this Saturday, Harden Simmons playing for the conference lead, don't go back to the game against Sol Ross. Over 450 yards throwing for you in the ball game, four touchdowns to four different receivers. As a quarterback, that's going to be fun to be able to, to hit those four receivers and, and get touchdowns. It is. I mean, my old line gave me great time. My receivers got open and I found them. Um, uh, just spreading the ball out. I mean, if they take one receiver away, another one's open. So uh, I was just really happy for the receivers, especially X Gray and Cam Peters, um, just coming in there and X uh, splitting the defense and then taking it to the house. Uh, Tyler Bates just winning and giving him a ball and letting him uh, run to the house with it. Um, Cam Peters won on his route, and he got a touchdown. And, I mean, it's, it's just it's just amazing of, like, what our offense can really do. And, I mean, we – scored on every possession of the first half and we really we were clicking for the first time in a long time and we put up a lot of points every week but we still leave a lot out there in which people really don't realize how good we really are as a quarterback tell us what your perspective is when you you take the snap I mean obviously I would be scared to death back there with all those linemen from the defense coming do you kind of give me a perspective of the field as you see it as a quarterback um, I mean, pre-snap, I got to scan the field, see what kind of uh, defense they're running, uh, what covers they're in, um, they're bringing a blitz or something like that. But at the end of the day, I really don't pay attention to it. Uh, I got my progressions to go through. I got the best O-line in the nation, and they're going to protect me. And, I mean, so there's really nothing I have to worry about. I just got to sit in the pocket, be patient, and deliver a ball and give it to the playmaker in space. It's your senior season. What do you like about this team as compared to previous teams you played with? Of course, it's, it's been great every year you played, but what, what's different, uh, the uniqueness of, of this year's team as compared to previous teams you played for for the Tigers? This team is more about the team. There is no me people. There's no I want the ball. There's if you throw me the ball, I'm going to make the best of it. If you don't throw me the ball, I'm going to block for my brother. Um, I mean, my old line, they really – manage and they control the game and they hardly ever get any credit and that's what being a quarterback you get all the credit get all the blame so um it really just comes down to them um and they handle it so well they handle it better than i ever would and just really it comes down to just how we play i mean nobody really cares who gets the ball as long as someone's getting the ball and we're scoring and that's really we're not selfish we I try to distribute the ball to a lot of people at different times, and um, we have the best running backs in the nation. I mean, if nothing's there in the pass game, I always got to check down to them. They're going to get at least 20 running the ball every play. So, I mean, it just – we have so many weapons, and that's when it comes down to when you have so many great people, it doesn't matter who gets the ball. It's what we're doing as an offense, as a team. Well, Josh, talk to me about the opponent coming up, Harden Simmons. Uh, have not – beaten them since you've been here, I don't think, because the last win was in 2012 at Ornellis. Harden Simmons is a good football team. They're 3-0 in conference just like you, 3-0. They beat Mary Harden Bader, the perennial power, last week. Uh, I guess the question I want to ask you, as a player, obviously it's going to be juiced because it's a big mm -hmm. game, but how do you keep those nerves in check so it doesn't uh, hinder you and your rest of your team? Well, it's just another game. Uh, I mean, I know there's a lot of things that's going on this week. I mean, blew out uh, for the conference lead, championship. I mean, there's a lot of different things that go into it. But at the end of the day, it's just another opponent that's on our schedule. And we can't really look into it as so many different things. We just got to look into it as that's the next opponent. So we just got to prepare like it's a normal game. It's just another game on the schedule. And, I mean, which Hart Simmons is a great ball club. I mean, they've won many championships. They've 
always in the top in our conference every year. I mean, they're a very disciplined, very great, well-coached team, and we're just going to have to do us, and we're just going to take this one play at a time. Of course, I get to the stadium early for the games and just kind of get the atmosphere going on. As a player, do you have a routine that you do to get ready for that first snap? Are there certain things that you do? Do you wear the, the same socks every week? Or, or, or I mean, what, what, what is your routine getting ready for a game? Uh, actually, um, me and one of my best friends, Dylan Bowman, we always uh, line up at the very end of the field for the national anthem and prayer. And we've done that ever since the second game. And it's worked so far. So um, we always do that. And that's pretty much one of the only rituals I really have. Uh, we after the national anthem, we give each other a hug, tell each other to have a good game, and then uh, I go and throw. Uh, I say a quick prayer on the sidelines, and then I throw to Chase Wicker or Tyler Bates before um, before we kick off or receive. And so that's really that's really the only uh, rituals that I have, other than just normal, just patting everybody on the helmet, saying let's have a good day. And so I, mean, I really don't do nothing spectacular. I just just do something just something a little simple every game. Last question. It's an easy question. One of the traditions at ETB is the Tiger Walk, where you walk down through the, the central walkway, uh, through Tiger Alley. Uh, as a player, and everybody's there uh, clapping, and, and as you walk through, what, what, what does that mean to you to see those people there to support the Tigers each, each week? Man, it's just, it just gets you so pumped knowing that you have this school behind you, and uh, the fans, family there, and just to see people that you would never know if they're fans or not that are there supporting you. Um, it's just a great thing. I mean, the Tiger Walk is just, it's just amazing. You, I mean, it makes you feel like you're at a big school or makes you feel like you're, like, that important. Uh, just walking down, people giving you high fives, cheering for you, uh, just makes you want to play better. It makes you just want to put a show on for them. Well, Josh, thank you for your time and best to you and your Tigers Saturday against Harden Simmons. Thank One you. final thing I want to say. I did something today. I went back and looked at how many yards you have thrown in your career, and it comes to 7,000, hold on a second, yeah, 7,304 yards. That's a lot of yardage. And then I broke it down, well, how many miles is that? That's 4.15 miles. You've thrown the football at each of you so far, 4.15 miles. That's a long way to throw a football, but congratulations on the great run you've had here at ETV. Of course, it's not over because you've got the big game yes, Saturday. Sir. Appreciate Josh Warrington being our guest here today on ETV Extra. Tigers, as I said, play Harden Simmons at 2 p.m. at Ornello Stadium. It's the battle of the unbeatens in the American Southwest Conference as both teams have 3-0 conference records. Coming up next, we're going to talk ETV cross country with the head cross country coach, Natalie Bach-Prather. That's next on ETV Extra. We'll be back in just a moment. 